Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Omar and today I will show you how you can use the subtotal function in Excel. This function will return the aggregate results for the supplied values. It can return the sum, the product, the max, min and different functions. And it only calculates the functions that are seen on the screen. So for example, if you are using a filter, it will only calculate what's seen on the screen. And for the hidden rows or columns, you can choose either to include them or exclude them from the calculations. So now let's go and see how we can use this function. So here I have this table showing the sales per month and indicating to which quarter does each month belong to. And I want to calculate the sum, for example, using the subtotal function. So as said before, the subtotal function is used to calculate different functions when you have hidden rows or columns, either using the hide and unhide function or using the filters. So let me show you what I mean. So for example, I will start by typing the subtotal function. The first argument in the subtotal function is which function do you want to use? So we have 11 functions, which are from 1 to 11. And then from 101 to 111, the same functions, but those functions exclude the hidden rows or columns. So as you can see, we have average count, count A, max, min, product, standard deviation.s, standard deviation.p, sum, var.s, var.p. In my case, I want to use the sum function. So first of all, let me show you what happens if we select the sum, which is 9. So here it will type 9. Then I will select the numbers that I want them to be summed. So the total is 24,000. And since I used 9, when I hide rows, the total will stay the same. So if you want to know how to hide and unhide rows and columns in details, you can watch the video that will pop up above to know it in details. But now let's say I want to hide May. I will go into format, hide rows. So now May is hidden, but the total stayed 24,000. Why? Because I selected the function number 9. But if I go back to the function, I will remove 9 and I will select 109. Now it will exclude the hidden rows. You can see now the total is 21,600 and it removed the May sales. And now let's unhide the rows. And let's say that I want to use filters. So for example, I want just the Q1 sales. And I'll press OK. So the subtotal for them is 4,900. And right now I'm using the 109 function, which is the sum, excluding the hidden rows. But when I'm hiding rows, Using filters, it doesn't matter if I'm using the 9 or 109. So if I remove it and use the 9, which includes the hidden rows, it will stay 4,900. Why? Because the difference between the functions, for example, 9 and 109, only includes the hidden rows from the format here, and not the hidden rows from the filters. So at the end, this subtotal function will help you to calculate different things when you are hiding the columns or rows using the hide rows and columns or if you are using the filters like this case also here. I hope this video was helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video.